going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again once again and today people, today there's a lot of stuff to talk about that I have not gotten to yet, but I figured Iron Banner is probably the most relevant topic of discussion right now, so let's get into it. Lord Saladin is back again once again in the tower. For those of you who may have skipped out on Iron Banner last season, there are a couple of changes. First, Iron Banner now only happens twice a season. That's down from, well, basically every other weekend. Great for keeping Iron Banner fresh, not so much if you're looking to farm loot. This change means when Iron Banner is around, it's probably the only thing that you're going to be doing. You may have also noticed that Lord Saladin's inventory has received the focusing overhaul. This happened last season, and it's kind of expensive. More so if you are for, um, you know, some reason on the broker side of things. Maybe you're new, maybe you spent all your materials trying to get a hand cannon, but you can still just play. You can turn in your reputation grind and get randomly rolled loot. The way that Iron Banner ranks work has changed in two ways. One, completing Iron Banner daily challenges. At the time of recording, the challenge is to complete Iron Banner matches on either an arc subclass or a stasis subclass. And if you just so happen to miss a day, these challenges don't go away. The other ways you can increase your Iron Banner rank is by putting on Iron Banner gear or ornaments and using an Iron Banner emblem. The second major change to Iron Banner is Iron Banner now seems to be a testing ground for new modes. Last season it was Rift, this season it's Eruption. Eruption was a mode announced back at the beginning of August. It's a mode that I wish I had the opportunity to talk about when it was first announced because whether you end up loving it or hating it, Modes like Rift and Eruption, at the very least, Bungie is finally doing something with PvP after years of stagnation. According to the original TWAB, Iron Banner 411, huh, I wonder how well that joke translates. More Iron Banner is on its way next season, this time sans Rift. To talk about more about what's on the horizon, we've got principal designer Alan Blaine here to dive a little deeper into what's next in Iron Banner and Crucible Realms. Take it away, Alan. Hi, everybody. Now that Iron Banner is officially wrapped up for Season of the Haunted, let's talk about what we've learned as well as plans for the next season and the future. First up, we're adding the ability to gild the Iron Lord Seal with the next batch of matches in Valis Forge's honor. As for what else is new in Season 18, let's talk about streaks. As we started working on Season 18, Iron Banner well before we launched Rift, we knew we wanted to come back to something more familiar after a season of objective-based gameplay. Some of you have been asking to play Clash in Iron Banner for a while, so we decided to start there. With that aside, we still needed that Iron Banner twist, that thing that makes it feel unique. The core vision started with a conversation that sounded like, what if when you went on a kill streak, Saladin shouted, HE'S ON FIRE! And you lit on fire. And maybe when you got a kill, he shouted, BOOM SHAKALAKA LAKA! And from that chaotic conversation, Eruption was born. What is Eruption? Eruption is Clash, with energy boost based on kill streaks. It was affectionately called Streak Mayhem internally before we gave it a real name. During Eruption, killing your opponent scores one point and a normal amount of energy. After that, when you get your second elimination in a row without dying, assist count two, you become surging. You start lightly glowing. Kills start generating 10% super energy and 20% grenade, melee, and class energy. You score two points per kill. When you get your fifth kill without dying, you become primed. You begin glowing brightly. Your team goes on the hunt. Everyone on your team gains 5% super energy and 10% grenade, melee, and class energy. You now gain 12% super and 40% grenade, melee, and class energy per kill. You score 3 points per kill. Sounds great, right? So who wouldn't want to be primed? Well, you also have a 15 second timer on you. If that timer reaches zero, you erupt. Erupting kills you, which resets your streak and ends the hunt. Getting a kill resets the eruption timer back to 15 seconds. You are then marked by both teams, so everyone can see right where you are. The other team gets 3 points for killing you choices. More than one player can be primed at a time. Out of the two modes that have been introduced, Eruption is far better than Rift. In my opinion, this isn't even close. Eruption also encourages the most teamwork I think I've ever seen in Destiny as players run together to protect their prime player. So you do end up with these balls of death trading kills back and forth, and I can easily see why people wouldn't be a fan of that playstyle. People didn't like it in year one of Destiny 2, and there's a reason we have freelance playlists. One of the biggest problems with Destiny PvP in general, however, 
Eruption lays bare. Destiny as a franchise, going all the way back to Destiny 1, has kind of sort of had this problem. And that's map design and map flow. More so on larger maps. With no objective other than heavy ammo to rally around, maps can feel directionless. As you're basically rotating from spawn point to spawn point, either killing the enemy team or being killed by the enemy team. This is why on the PvP side, the game is basically built around control. And while you can ignore this issue on the smaller maps because there's more action, on larger maps this issue is magnified a hundredfold. And I can see why some people would prefer Iron Banner Control to the other two variants of Iron Banner. This is one of those modes that if it just lived in the directory, I would probably never touch. But with it being a limited time event, that does make it feel as the Bungie dev said, more special, even if it's not the greatest mode they've ever created. But honestly, I think I only feel that way because the current map rotation leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, it is just silly. When I can play Javelin 4 more in Fortnite than I can in Destiny 2. But again, that's my own personal taste and my own personal experiences. Yours may vary. All in all, Eruption is something different. I'll give it that. And it is for all intents and purposes, when I get it on a map I like, fun. But only time will tell if it has the staying power of control, or if it'll be forgotten like supremacy. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Remember to like, but only if you did. Subscribe for more. Feel free to donate to my Patreon if you're feeling particularly generous. And above all else, stay frosty.